guys, let's make some delicious crispy tofu nuggets. These are crispy on the outside and soft and squishy on the inside. They are so yummy. We're going to start with a block of tofu for our ingredient list, some soy sauce, and some nutritional yeast, as well as any seasonings that you might like. For supplies, we have a plate, a small bowl to play the post the um, tofu liquid into, and our tofu press. We also have a cutting board, a large bowl to mix everything together, as well as a knife. So let's get started. So we're gonna take our tofu, and I like to use a serrated knife, and just cut around the edges where I know that I can feel that I'm not cutting the tofu underneath. I usually do three sides, and then flip the tofu into my hand, plastic side up on my hand, and just drain the tofu, the liquid, into the small bowl. And honestly guys, I usually just pour this into the sink, but today I wanted to show you just how much liquid is in there. We're then going to grab our plate and flip the block of tofu into our hand. And then taking our tofu press, <clears throat> we're going to place the tofu block in between both of those plates and just um, tighten down those screws on each side to where we can feel a firm press of the tofu. I love tofu because it is so, it's almost like a sponge. It will um, absorb any flavoring that you use with it. Super high in protein and just good clean food. We're gonna go ahead and tip that on your side. And you'll notice that liquid starts to come out. Sometimes I'll leave that there a few minutes. And typically I'll always flip it over to the other side as well. Give it one last little firm squeeze. And go ahead and screw those up. And that allows you to kind of dump out your tofu block on the side. And leaving it there um, lengthwise, I will cut the tofu in half to form the little nugget shapes. I'll then place it in six. So I will cut it in half and then do three even sides on each side. So six length, length ways there. I'll then put this in fourths. So I'll cut it in half and then um, cut those halves in half. So you'll have four that way. We'll then go ahead and place the tofu into a large mixing bowl. <clears throat> and honestly, guys, when I make this, I usually double the recipe. <laughs> so you can place anywhere from two tablespoons to four tablespoons, so a fourth of a cup of soy sauce in there, depending on your taste. We'll then go ahead and just pour the nutritional yeast over. You can use up to a fourth of a cup of nutritional yeast or more, whatever you like. There you can see I added for our seasoning some garlic salt. And we're gonna go ahead and stir all of this up. And if you just wanna give it a little taste, Cold tofu is yummy in my opinion, <laughs> and that of my teenagers. So go ahead, grab a block and taste it. And then adjust your seasonings to your liking. You can see there, I just tasted that. And I decided to add a little heat today. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more nutritional yeast, some more soy sauce, and I'm gonna grab some Serrano flakes that a friend gave us who had, um, yes, she dried these on her own, they're so yummy. So we're going to add some of those there. If you don't like heat, then go ahead and leave that out. We'll give this all a great mixing. And then place them onto a prepared cookie sheet. I just like to use a silicone liner. You could spray a cookie sheet with like an avocado oil <clears throat> or whatever you like to use. The most important thing I have found for getting crispy tofu nuggets is um, making sure that all of the little tofu pieces are separate and not touching each other, allowing the heat to circulate around them. So it does take a moment, but just go ahead and separate those. We're then going to place those in our preheated oven at 425 for 20 minutes. You can see right here, this has been 20 minutes, we pulled them out. And I'm just going to use a spatula and go ahead and pull them. I hope you can see the crispy on that. They're so yummy. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and get them all loose. They are a little sticky on there, but not too bad. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and flip each one. It does take a little bit of time, but I found that like if I'm just preparing this with like rice, with a salad, while these are cooking, I'm just preparing all the other ingredients. So again, right here, I'm just flipping them all over. And we're gonna bake these for 20 minutes longer on this side. Okay, and once that 20 minutes is up, um, we're gonna go ahead and pull those out. And yes, they look very, especially that spot with all the sauce, it looks very crispy, but they should be. They're so yummy. And again, every, you can see my daughter's hand right there just slipping in. Honestly, this batch is done, you guys, by the time I'm done filming this because our kids love these so much. <clears throat> but you're gonna go ahead and place these into a separate bowl. And if you don't like them quite as crispy or you want them more crispy, just adjust the time that you leave them in. I know every oven is a little bit different as far as how it cooks. Um, so be sure to go with what works for yours. What I love about these is, look how yummy those are, is right now my daughter and I are just talking about her day. I love having like a little homemade, where I'm cooking homemade um, dinner where we can just talk and chat. So, and yes, it's a great time. She loves to dip these in this ketchup. <laughs> That's not quite as, maybe not quite as healthy, but she, we don't eat a lot of meat at our house. And so these are a perfect substitute for protein. And help. So you can see how delicious those are you guys. I hope that you will give these a try. Um, we truly make these all the time at our house and as I said we will double or triple the recipe. They're soft, they're squishy and they actually keep well in the fridge. Look how yummy those are on the inside. Okay guys that is all for today. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. Please let me know in the comments below her empty dish. Please be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoy these type of recipes and we will see you here next week. Take care!